Hello Zeva Herd, welcome back to LEGO Fortnite. In the last episode, we made our way here to the Dry Valley. We were playing as both Michelangelo and uh, Raphael as part of the TMNT bundle. Today we'll be doing Donatello and Leonardo, starting with, of course, we got Donatello here with the purple bandana. We have our cuddle team leader from this Dry Valley area. I don't think they've really done too much more with their job, because they're just sort of following us around at the moment. I wanted to see if I couldn't ask them to do anything else. I guess not. So uh, we'll just have them hang out with us. I figure for today, our goal is just to get as much as we can out of this biome as possible in terms of uh, getting anything that's like exclusive. Oh no, oh, I can't quite get up there that way. I wanna see if there is any, well, I gotta eat this. There we go. Any kind of material I can get that's exclusive to the Dry Valley. Oh my gosh, that stinks that I can't get up there that way. They're just not at the right angle. I could build my way up, but I might save it for later. Cause there's other things we can still get. I think that over in this direction, I'm sure we'll find plenty more chili, which is probably what I want, the, the chili peppers or the spicy peppers, whatever they might be. Those are sort of my main goal to collect. So if I can see some like right over here, getting as many of these as possible and bringing them back over to my old village is Definitely something worth focusing on um, because from there I can build um, cold resistance and that will be super duper useful for um, going to the cold biomes which are actually closer to my base of operations. And then from there, I'm sure we'll get even more gear, even more materials. We have a lot to farm up and grind up and to explore. So we just gotta keep working on that. But right over here, I do see a treasure chest waiting for us which might have some good things as we're grabbing more spicy peppers. There we go. We have our follower here though. They're not really doing too much. I don't know if there's really too much for them to do that. Ooh, this chest. Look at how much storage is in this one. It's awesome. I wish I could just take the chest. I mean, what happens if I destroy it? That is something I should probably try to figure out. Uh, For now, I'll get this wool here, get that there, stack that here. What happens if I destroy this? Okay, that doesn't do anything. Does this do anything? No. Never mind. I'm not as a strength level to do that. Where it's really making me feel like I need to upgrade my gear even farther before I really get too situated in a biome like this is things like that. That and the, the cactus and some of the enemies we've run into have been way too difficult to deal with, really, with the gear that we currently have. And I think they've recognized that and they really want to beat me up for it. So is this the only sword I have at the moment? It is. So this is probably not a fight I want to pick. So if I can, I'm going to run away. Maybe our, our friend here can help, but uh, we are overheating again, and I don't really have as much this time to protect me from it, so that is scary. Okay, get over here. What do we have here? This is a snowberry seed. So if we could grow more snowberries, I guess doing that here would be the, the best opportunity for us. I'm going to run back over this way. We got a lot of the spicy peppers. Not any spicy pepper seeds, though, is the unfortunate thing. If we, but we do have the seed extractor now. That is a recipe thing we did unlock. So I guess we could try to do that at some point. I'm just gonna go back to our camp for now. That was a lot of spicy peppers. I might just wanna bounce with that. We have a couple of other things working with this here, so I think we'll be okay if we wanna head back home. There's some more spicy peppers. If I can find some more on my way out, I will gladly take the opportunity. But for right now, we're back here. Will we be overheated even at our camp? It seems like it, but I can also just assign this bed to me and take a nap. There we go. So we're a hot, but we're, we're, we're taking a nap. So that's good. And we're done. Awesome. So wait, is this bed? This should be assigned to you, isn't it? Let's see. Take this. I can give you something? Oh, I can gift you something. Never mind. I don't feel like doing that. I sort of took your bed by mistake. I don't know if I can fix that. Maybe if I were to dismiss the follower. Dismiss follower. There you go. Okay, you just go back there. Perfect. So, yeah, let's figure this out a little bit. I want to take these. I should probably just have this here and eat it soon. But in the meantime, I definitely want these. Get those there. See, we have a lot of the, the chili peppers now. I probably don't need the one plank. The rough amber is definitely something I want. The slap berry is always good. There we go. Stack all that stuff up together and probably don't need the spider web too much. The dynamite is pretty good to have. So there's a lot of stuff to work on here, but I think that for the most part, that will be good. If I could put this here, that does give me an extra inventory slot though. So 
I'll do that and maybe just take the weak green. Actually, no, I have weak green right there. Never mind. We could just do that and then I'll take the plank. Okay, cool. So, oh, hey, there's somebody else here. We got the Raptor. Nice to meet you. This is Raptor reporting in. Over. Nice to meet you. Super nice to meet you, too. I've been exploring for hours. I think I'll sleep in your village tonight. Well, thank you for doing that. I don't think I can upgrade this place too much more where I could actually invite you to stay. I would need more wooden ground it. I'll come back for that some other time. I think now, I know we're pretty early on in today's video, but I think we'll just head back with that. Um, if we run into any new caves, that might be worth our while, but in total, I think we're good just to head back home. So I don't know if we'll run into too much else that'll be super interesting, but for right now, I'll just run home, and if we do, I'll definitely include it, but it'll mostly just be me running in one direction. But these chili peppers are growing back, which is awesome. I'll definitely be extracting seeds from some of them, but we have two full stacks of them. So I think we're in a pretty good spot. If I wanted to drop something, I'll go ahead and drop that. And also, can I see, I can't see my crafting stuff from here. I wanna see if I need to make any more of or need any more of the sand shells. And look what's over here, one of the sand shell enemies. So if I could just boom, ooh, try to dodge you or not. I got beat up a little bit. Ooh, there we go, much better. There goes the sword. So, gonna have to hit you with something else. Cause I don't have any other more swords. Ooh, ow, that hurt. I need to be really careful then. Come on. I'm doing a good number to you. Just one or two more hits would do the trick. Gotcha, awesome. I will gladly take this. And then maybe more spicy peppers. We'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna eat this pumpkin really quickly. Oh, the scorpion's coming. Not good, not good. Ah. Wait, wait, leave me alone for a second, okay? There we go. You stay over there. I'm going to eat this up. And that should, yeah, restore me back up the full. Okay, wait a minute. I need to uh, put this here, get more spicy peppers. This scorpion is back and somehow angrier than last time. Can you not? There. Oh, you actually have a lot of health. Okay, I'm going to leave you. I'll grab more spicy peppers and then we're running back home. <laughs> but yeah, we got a third sand shield that's actually really good. And the amber over here. There's actually a lot of it. So if I could get that, that'd be a pretty big deal. So I just wanna hop up here, just like this. Ooh, very nice, very nice. There is a ton of it up here. This is actually quite the jackpot, because I don't even know what amber does at the moment, but it's gotta do some good stuff, right? So I will trap this up, I guess mine it. That was good, two more rough amber, we have a total of six. So once I clear out this whole rock area, I'll just wanna head back home. Yeah, we're making some good progress here with the, with the turtles that we're playing as. I don't know if I asked you guys last episode, so I'd love to hear what are your thoughts on this TMNT bundle? Do you plan on getting it? What's very cool is, of course, you unlock it here for LEGO Fortnite, but also for the normal Fortnite game mode. It's gonna keep damaging this one down. And I don't know if we'll be able to get a full stack out of this, but I think we can get pretty close to it, so that would be nice. Yeah, let's get the one that's higher up first. It is about to become nighttime, so things are going to get significantly more dangerous, but if I can just run straight home, it might not be too big of a deal. But I guess if I were to die, I still have, you know, the one bed in the desert, so it's not the end of the world. I wonder if there's even more up there. For right now, I don't wanna worry about it too much because we still have these two clusters of amber. But now that we have a bunch of spicy peppers, it really makes me think, what other new things can we find in the winter biome? whatever it's even called. I really couldn't even go in there before because of how cold it was. So definitely excited to explore that. I don't know if we'll get to it today, but definitely soon. I, and I can only imagine some of the stuff there is going to, going to be a bit more accessible since there's so much of that biome close to our big camp. This one, pretty far out of the way, so it makes it really difficult. I think there's a monster trying to kill me right now. Uh, I don't appreciate it. It's another one of you. I should probably go down there and get you, but I just don't have the weapons for it right now, so I might leave it for some other time. I mean, the good news is now we know all this is here. If we're willing to make the journey out, whoa, we can do that. But for right now, plenty more amber to grab here at Dry Valley before we head home. Our axe, our pickaxe is almost out of durability too, so I think I just want to, oh, you know what? There it goes. I'm gonna eat this up. Got it. I'll eat, oh, that didn't help. I thought it would. Weird. Oh, because I ate the pumpkin. 
<laughs> I thought that was the pepper. There you go, much better. No, 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 okay, so. Yeah, that doesn't do too much. I don't have any other pickaxes left. We got a total of 24 of the amber. That's not bad. I'll come back for the rest of it if I need it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> and we're just going in a straight line, basically, back home. All right, off we go. All right, it required a few minutes of just straight running, but we're finally back to our good old town. And now that we're here, I definitely wanna spend the rest of today really working on revitalizing this place a little bit. I want to, of course, first set my spawn here because it'd really be disappointing if I died and had to go all the way back over there. So if I could just set respawn location and rest. Okay, so I think I got it. Got all these guys running around now, I might just steal some of their stuff or something like that. But for the most part, I just need to organize my inventory and then we'll be good to go with checking out a bunch of stuff. So yeah, I think that this might be where it's good to make another chest. I wouldn't mind just stacking one on top of this just so that we have more food. For that, I would just need more planks. So if I could get over here and make sure that I have some made, I'll set that as a recipe. I don't have any wood on me right now, but if I were to go back over here, I could Oh, actually, I, I could just get the planks. Okay, I'm just gonna do this really fast so that I can, boom. Can I put one on top of another one? Oh, I can't. Really? Thought we could. That'd be pretty convenient, but unfortunately, no. So for right now, I'm just gonna do this. I know it's not the most organizing, but I figure eventually we'll move everything around a bit more. Uh, what are you doing in here? Get out of here. Thank you. <laughs> Go back over here, switch that stuff back around, and uh, continue to put more food items in here. So for right now, it looks like mostly this. Like I said, I'll organize the inventory a little bit more in depth later. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on making the most out of everything, so we should have to put some seeds over here. Not those, but just make sure everything is combined properly like that, and then there we go. Okay, so that helps out a ton. Definitely in a better spot with everything. So yeah, I'll just keep organizing your inventory until we're at a good spot all together, and we'll move forward with everything else today. Okay, so things are going pretty well overall. I think for the most part for right now, I wanna get more slapberry seeds grown and maybe some snowberry seeds. Maybe we should focus on snowberry seeds first, just because that way I can go back to the frozen area, or the, the desert area sooner. So that way we can make some more slap berries super soon. So I wanna make more granite slabs, more marble slabs. I don't have too much of the marble left over. I'll have to go back to the one place for it, but I got a lot of granite now. So I should be able to get like split 15, perfect. Get that in here and then just start loading up some of those because I think we have some goals to get to in today's episode. And I feel like some of the bigger ones are, you know, making this chest for that we would need marble slabs. So we can't quite get there just yet, but maybe improving some other things about the camp. Uh, making this gem cover, cu gem cutter would require the marble slab. The rough amber we have now, the sand claw, the sand shell, lots of good stuff there for sure. And what about some other stuff around here? Looks like a lot of basic building materials, which could be nice, but those are definitely a lot more like cosmetic. So I sort of want to save those for later. I think we should also talk to our villager friends, because, uh, hi. Um, let's see, how's your job? Oh, planks and wooden rods, thank you so much. How is Sunflower doing? Sunflower is working on the crafting bench over here like she normally does. I want to see what our crafting bench upgrade could be. My spurs have rusted again. This one is just right for dueling. Whoa, how's your job? Uh, soil, fertilizer, awesome. Let's see, what does the bench upgrade require? Not root, marble slab, sand claw, which we have six up, and three sand shells. So that's another thing we could use the sand shells for. I feel like we'll have to come back to it though. But I think the biggest thing I can upgrade is the village itself, because what I want is to increase a raiding village by adding to your village. It's just not quite there yet. It sort of doesn't seem to say exactly what we need for that, but we have a lot of parts. We can definitely add a few things. So I think this is where we add some cosmetics, right? We can um, try to build something like an actual thing like this. We did the log shed before. Why don't we try the big log cabin? For that, we need 83 wood total. So I have two axes here. Let's just go ahead and knock down a couple of trees and see how that goes for us. We should probably go for yeah, the big forest over here. It's a big set of trees. We should be able to get a lot of wood out of it. I think that'll be our first focus. And then maybe we'll dive into some caves to get some more marble and not root. For that, we'll definitely have to remake some of our, our gear. But, whoa, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> like, knocked over two trees at once. 
There's a wolf looking at me. Please just, ah, leave me alone. Luckily, I can hit you pretty good with that, but I definitely need to make a new sword soon. You are not very nice. All right, Oh, there we go. Swing at you. I don't like how they run away. You can give me all this trouble just to run away. Luckily, if you just press the dodge button once, it'll do like this little backwards hop that's so useful. There we go, boom, boom, got it. Grab that, knock this tree over, and just keep chopping. And hopefully by the end of this, we can get a couple of stacks worth of wood so that we can make a big log cabin. And with this one, we should probably make a lot of furniture with it too. So yeah, I'm just gonna knock down a couple of trees. It might not be the most interesting thing. So I'll be right back once we're done with it. All right, so we got a ton of wood here. One, two, three, four stacks. So that's 120 in total, I believe. So that's pretty cool. That'll definitely get me a lot of the stuff we're looking for. I can also take some of those. I can't make any of these just yet with the marble. So we'll have to see. Okay, put that back there. We don't really have too much of the marble. I have three pieces or five pieces left over. I could make a couple of marble slabs then, but I think for the most part, I probably just wanna save it. Who knows? I'll just organize things a little bit here and then get over to here. So what did I mostly need? I wanted to build that cabin and I think we put the cabin over here, right? So a lot of cool stuff, but this big log cabin is a really cool addition. Um, it needed how many in total? I think 83, yeah, 83 in total. So it's gonna be a cool build for sure, but we'll also require a lot of the wood we just chopped at. All right, get that there. And then one more, what happened? Oh, there it goes, like this. Two right there. And then this whole situation, I gotta get this here maybe? It was green for a second, yeah. There we go. And then same thing there. I'm hungry again too. I feel like we just ate. Leonardo is one hungry turtle, or Donatella, sorry. Uh, I get it there. And speaking of which, we'll switch over to Leonardo soon enough. But for right now, I'm just gonna continue building this log cabin. It goes up pretty high. Like it's a, it's a pretty big structure, which I definitely appreciate. Okay, there's another one on this side and these two little side pieces. So this one has two rooms to it, that's so nice. You have like a little bedroom, then have like a nice living area. Where does this piece go? Um, Here, like the corners. Gotcha. Okay, there, and this one requires the two windows. Now we're working on the floor in there. So I gotta go back inside. Uh, open the door, get the building, floor. Right? Or maybe this is, oh, this is a roof piece. Oh, I see. Got it there, here and there. I wanna have to make some light fixtures in here too. I think it'd be fun just to work on building stuff like this throughout today. Um, so, the gable right and the gable left and then also this wall. There you go. Sort of finish up with that side. This is where I wish we could sort of fly <laughs> so that we could just get this stuff built. I mean, obviously you can do that in sandbox mode, but this is survival, so a little bit more complicated. Okay, I don't know if I can reach that from here. It looks like I just put it here though. And then two more on the other side, right? Yep, boom and boom. All right, we're getting a little bit faster with it. This part goes here, and then another one there. This goes on the other side, I think. Way over, over here, there you go. It's a very cool cabin though. Makes it feel like we're at like a summer camp or something cool like that. Got it. And, oh, I'm st we're starving. We're working too hard. Uh, I don't have any food here, but I can run over and get some real fast. Just over on this side before we start taking hunger damage. I was so focused in on doing all that. I just didn't even notice. So let's, let's just have some bread like that, I'm going to eat that super quick, or not. Why is it not letting me? So it literally just right click to eat, it, it's not working. Okay, there we go, that works. That gets us pretty far back up there. I'll keep it like that for now. I wanna get the corn out so that we can cook something. We can make a spicy burger now? Whoa, we need flour, spicy pepper, and meat. Have we learned how to make flour though? What do we need for flour? I mean, obviously we need the, the wheat, but it hasn't given us the recipe to actually make flour yet. 
Maybe I need like a different, maybe that one seed grinder thing? Weird. Um, but I can do this, and I can put the corn in there, and make that. That'd be pretty useful. Definitely need to find a lot more food recipes out there, but let's get back to building. Because this thing is just not finished. Hold on, or not. Uh, let me go inside then. There we go. Where was this piece? This piece goes pretty simply right there. And then for that other piece, that goes up here. So I think we're just trying to build the top pieces of it. One right there, and then another on the other side. Run, run, run. Right over here. So what's the last stage gonna be? That little piece on the top? You can just barely reach it. There it is. We have finished the log cabin. How cool is that? So yeah, this place is starting to feel a lot more official. We definitely need to replace those things soon. It's sort of unfortunate that the only way to move those pieces is to break them. I can't just like pick them up and move them. It just adds a lot more labor. Anyways, it's pretty dark in here. If we could work on bright cores. How do you get bright cores or copper bars? Both of those, I'm not really sure. Wooden rod or bright core? I have no idea how to get a bright core, but it seems to be crucial for getting any kind of lighting source that isn't just made with wicks or vines to make wicks. So I'll just do this for now. I know it's not the most exciting thing, but it'll make it so we can actually see in here. I'll be in a bit of a fire hazard to put it in the corner. Okay, so I think, yeah, we'll spend today just trying to spruce this place up a little bit. I'll get a bed in here for sure. Let's make it a nice bed too, the charming bed. Ooh. I'll get that right there, nice. All right, so I can assign myself to this bed. We get the nice bed, cool. I mean, we have a lot of extra beds at this point, I'm pretty sure, like, there's another bed in here that's not really assigned. Oh, no, no, there isn't, Never mind. So let's try to make this, like, a nice, cozy cabin for us. If we're gonna be spending all of our time in here, uh, let's see, we can get a nice little basic table, maybe somewhere in here. I would need more planks, but I have plenty of wood for that, so if I run back over here, Ooh, and we're ready for an upgrade. What do we need for the upgrade then? Village upgrade, we needed knot roots, planks, and marble. So I definitely need to go get more marble. How are you doing, beef boss? Uh, how's your job? 80% so far. Sunflower sleeping. I'm guessing sunflower's pretty focused in on that stuff too. So I'm gonna make another 15 planks. That should be good. Even though I'm sure there's more in here there is. Okay. We'll get some of the corn on the cob. Take that. Okay, so I think I'm still in building mode. Don't have the planks just yet, but we will soon enough. But it was definitely worth our effort then, you know, to build this whole thing. See, I would like to build just a little table. I mean, I guess if I wanna be more space efficient, the cabin end table might be a better idea. Cause I could just sort of put this here. Like there, there you go. And then with it, just a little chair, or maybe even just a stool. There you go. It's a compact area, we need some compact furniture. And then for the lighting, we did what we could, the displays, so we could get a nice little book nook shelf. Uh, let's put that one here, if it'll let me. I guess I can't get it against this wall. Okay, I can get it against that wall, but not this one. <laughs> for some, what if I nudged it? Oh, wait, there? No, I want it here. Okay, uh, there, perfect. This is a little tricky. Who's out there? Okay, it's just skeletons. So with that done, what other things? It looks like that's all for that decor, but there is other decorations. And for this, we need rough amber, iron bars, marble, marble. Okay, that stuff's a little bit too expensive for me right now, I'm sorry. This is our recents, our toys that we can do a boom barrel. Activation switch, attached to build and toggle on and off your dynamic objects. What are dynamic objects, like these thrusters? So I guess we really could go full like Tears of the Kingdom and make a structure that can like drive around and fly but that would be difficult without having something that has like wheels or wings, you know? What's that noise? Is it just skeletons attacking? Yeah, okay, I'll leave the skeletons for later. Very interesting, good to know for sure. Um, I don't really see too much else we can build here except for actually in the building parts. We have floors, we have a rustic floor, walls, stairs, supports, fences. Fences would be cool, and roofs. 
What about for the floors? Is there any like kind of rock pattern? It doesn't seem like it. It'd be cool to make like little rock or just ground paths to all the other buildings. But we don't have that right now. So I think, hmm. Yeah, I think that's really the most of it. I could, of course, set up another chest in there. I think this time we probably want to do the modest closet or the dresser. We could do the dresser. I mean, this seems like a more space efficient way. If it holds the same amount of stuff, that'd be awesome, actually. It only holds three, I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, so that's where we could put some stuff for sure. I just don't know what just yet. Hmm. Well, I think that's about all we can do for now, except for, oh, the traditional counter. That would be cool. Okay, here's what I'll do. I will pull my inventory, put that away, break this real fast. I do get my vines back, perfect. Because I want to get it over here. And then I'll put the counter over here. Well, I wonder if I could just put it on top of the counter. Because we also have the traditional counter, but also the counter corner. Perfect, right there. So now, I'm starving again. Let's just eat some of the corn I just cooked. There we go. Gets me back at the half. I can eat some berries for the rest of it. There, okay, don't break the house. I don't know if that would happen. I'd be very upset if it did. Can I put this, yeah, on top? And then it lights it, perfect. Okay, see now this feels a lot more homey. I like it, so yeah, very happy to have that. In the meantime though, I can pick up some of these and uh, lots more planks. So I'm glad that we got that done because that means that we have enough materials to upgrade this, or at least we have enough of the features to upgrade this. There is even a new person here. This is uh, Robin. I knew I spotted a new friend. Back home I'm known as Birdwatcher, but you can call me Robin around here. Good to meet you. If you're like me, you'll find all kinds of inspiration here. I haven't slept in a nice comfy bed in a while. Your village looks great. I think I'll stay here tonight. Okay, so let's see if we can't find the time. I mean, I guess I say that, but the night's almost over. I would love to find the time to just actually get the materials to upgrade the town enough to have somebody move in like them. But to do that might be a little difficult. So what I wanna do is like I said before, I need knot root planks and marble. The knot root and the marble are the things that we're sort of caught up on at the moment. So. I will try my best to just organize everything as much as possible, and then we'll head out to a cave where hopefully I can get some new materials. All right, so I decided to switch over to Leonardo, our last mutant turtle, of course, that we need to check out here. As you can see, he sports the blue. Looking very cool. I'm glad that we could check out all four of them between last episode and this episode. So I'm basically all set up to get going. I might just wanna cook this food so that I have that with me, um, but I also have all the berries. So I'm just gonna cook this grilled meat really quickly. And then once we do that, we're good to start heading the caves so that I can get basically as much granite, as much knot root, and as much marble as I can possibly pocket. I made a brand new uncommon pickaxe and ax as well as just a normal short sword. I do need to make the recurve crossbow. For that I need five rods, which I should have the things for. Yep, okay, so take one, no, 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 three, four, five. And then it was a cord, I believe. So I will take just one. There we go. I'm getting a little bit faster figuring out the whole menu system. I do want the cool headed charm eventually. I do have the three sand shells. That's what I wanted to make before. It looks like I'll have the inventory space to do that soon, which is really exciting. So let's craft that too. And boom, there we go. I got that going on. Running back over here. Boom, take, we're good. Awesome, so I think with that being said, I don't see anything else in my inventory I need to move around. Let's head to a cave. The closest one, I'm hoping the uh, resources will have refilled at this point is straight ahead over here. So I'll just run over to that cave, we'll head inside, and soon enough, we will have more materials. Okay, so we finally made it to the cave over here. I'll swipe at the spider, but I don't wanna to get too carried away with grabbing all the materials. Like I said, I wanna keep as much inventory space as possible for the important stuff. So let's run into here. Marble and not root are the two big things. Obviously, if I can find more granite and stuff, that's also good, but not as necessary for sure. And I will just break things like this as soon as I can. And boom, that'll give us a lot of marble. If I could get several stacks of marble this time, that'd be pretty big. But ooh, we can already find some easier things to collect, right? I don't wanna go too crazy with 
some of this stuff like the wheat grain. I have a lot of that back at home. I'm mostly focused on the stuff that I cannot get as easily, like this granite over here. I don't know if I'll bore you guys with the details of actually mining the whole stuff, but you get what I'm doing around here. If we run into anything interesting, like you over here, I'll include it. But for the most part, it's just me swinging a pickaxe out of rock, so not the most exciting thing. Whoa, I found myself a little monster. I'm pretty sure this is one of the normal enemies. I don't think it's a, I guess we'll see in a moment. I don't think it's anything special, but I definitely wanna to try to take you out. I don't have my sword anymore. And I don't wanna use my durability on my actual tools. I already used up all my pickaxe, so I got all the marble I can for now, but if I can just knock you out with the bow and arrow, I think that's working out pretty well. Come on, one more shot. There it is, I can at least get that. So that's pretty good, and I can keep chopping things up. As you can see, I have at least, it looks like almost three full stacks of the marble. That's the most we've had so far. Nothing in this chest, I guess we've already found it. So now I'm just gonna use up my one and then some. We have like a little bit here and a little bit there for this ax. I'm just gonna use that to get nothing but not root. And then we should be good to head out of here back home and uh, make some more stuff. Okay, so after a lot of time in the caves, I got quite a lot of what I was after. I don't have any more pickaxe, so I really can't get any more of the marble, but it wasn't too hard to get here. I have most of this axe left over. I think I wanna save some of it so that if we need to chop down some normal trees at some point, I can use them there. But that was a lot of material. I think it'll be enough for me to upgrade the village a little bit more. If we could get to the next level, that could unlock a whole bunch of stuff. Even if I could just get one more villager, them getting extra materials for me would probably be a big deal. So that at the least is something I wanna work on right now. So we're heading right back to the village and that'll be pretty good. But yeah, making a lot of progress here as the turtles. I'm really happy to see it. And I can pick up some of these on the way over, especially since I'm waiting for my sprint to come back anyways. But I definitely need to figure out if there is a way to make some vehicles because we have these thrusters now, but we don't have any kind of wheels or anything that put them on. Mostly the stuff that I, I make too gets sort of attached to the ground, doesn't it? Anyways, let's talk to Beef Boss over here. And how's your job? Get the planks from you, thank you so much. If I could do the same thing with Sunflower, wherever she is, that'd be a good idea, but maybe I can't do it just yet. Okay, here, do a bit of this. Those are still growing, which is actually really good. Is that all of them? I think so. So yeah, let's see, what do I need to upgrade the village? Right now I need to get more planks and that's it. Okay, so that should be really, really doable because I actually have all the planks I need right over here and I can make a ton more. So go back over here, upgrade a village to level five. That would of course get us musty destination, well rested, a new villager slot, log home build, bungalow build, and log cabin living furniture. Whoa. Okay, so there we go. We now have a level five, and with you, Rowan. Can you live here? So I'll see you, Zebra, as much as I love to see the world, it'd be nice to have somewhere to stay. Uh, live in my village. A spot just for me could be nice. Do you have a spot? Yes. I've been hoping for a bed on my, of my own, thanks. Now we have Rowan. That's so cool. And I think, yeah, that right there is gonna be Rowan's bed. So we got 13 new build recipes. If we take a look through, um, Maybe here, yeah, we have the Pleasant Park. This giant bungalow requires 187 granite and 59 wood. That would be really cool to make, but definitely not super high on my priority list. We also now have the granite foundation, um, a lot of the basic building materials here, which is really cool. Um, let's see, different types of walls and stuff. Basically, the different materials that we need to make that giant bungalow are now here, as well as everything else. So that's super duper awesome. Uh, just trying to see if there's anything that really piques our interest and also we can get rid of the little yellow dots saying that there's new stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks like mostly run of the mill things here. Let's go over here, furniture. We have some new surfaces, this traditional end table. More lighting fixtures that require bright cores that I don't have. But this couch looks nice, the, the college sofa, the velvet armchair, whoa, wool fabric? I'm assuming that I could use wool thread and make something like that, but maybe not quite yet. For the displays, an edgy bookshelf. I actually really like that. I wanna build that right now in my nice little cabin, um, right over here. So, we have enough room to put it maybe, oh, right here would be perfect. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it'd be. Um, maybe it would be better inside the main room. Not much room in here for that, that though. It could go here, blocks a window, but that's okay. We have two more right there. Look at that. I like it, it's getting cozy in here. Um, 
what other things could we potentially build at least later down the line we still need to of course get more of the marble slab which is definitely something i want to work on right now we get over this way i can put the marble slab over there granite slab here and then just put the base materials in here a little bit more i definitely need to make more granite because uh, i just i didn't get too much there but that's really really good i can at least get like this one partial stack and make a lot of marble slabs with it so marble slab change recipe and this make as many as i can for the time being 24 that's perfect uh back over here though we have all that wood now i can also put in boom 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 maybe a little bit too much i guess that's a good thing i guess in the meantime then what could i do because i have all my planks here with me there's more logs here. So I could take these logs out and turn them into planks. I could also get all these and turn them into knot roots. So let's try knot root rods, change recipe, and there's whatever knot roots I have in my inventory right now. I'll just put those all in there. There we go. That should make some space for us. Really, really cool. I'm liking the progress we're, we're making there. So what else is there to do at the moment? I think we're sort of basically sort of wrapped up with all the stuff I set out to do. I definitely want to go back over here. Oh, oh. hi, some flowers. Sorry if I'm intruding. Uh, how's your job? Yeah, let's get the wheat, the feather. Cool. So I guess every character might have like different abilities in that way of like what they can get. Here, I want to get into this. I, You know, you can stay there, that's fine. I'm just trying to, or was it in here? Yeah, it was in here, okay. Do this, because I want to make that cold resistance thing that's what i need to go to the cold biome so if i go over here or no no it'd be how i get to the hot biome so i guess it's not as necessary um but i'll, I'll want to do that eventually okay so yeah lots of cool stuff going on i'm trying to figure out like what might be the best thing to focus on for right now i'll need some new gear for later on i guess just whatever's gonna help us with surviving the, this cold environment, which we have a lot of stuff here. Gem cutter, this is new. Carves gems for use in crafting. Ooh, that does sound really good. I think I need to save it for later though. I think the highest priority thing I could do here is juicer and grain mill. The grain mill, I can definitely do. I just need more granite slabs, not root rods. We're making a lot of that right now. So how many of the granite slabs? 20. How many do I have at the moment? 16. So I could take 15, just like that. And then I can make some more soon. I will take 13 of these. That is still working away. What else did I need? I would need the three shells, so I can go and grab those out of this chest over here since I actually have a good amount of them. Take three of them, excellent. While that's all happening, I guess I should be probably working on this to make sure that more things are being made. I can make a lot more cords. To make cords, I would uh, use vines, which I don't have a ton of. I will take 10, just like that. I can definitely grind up more vines though without it being too much of an issue. There we go. Hmm. What did I need to upgrade? Sand shell again. So I probably have to go back to the desert and earn up a bunch of sand shells if I really want to get that done, which isn't something that's high on my priorities right now. Eventually, sure. And how about our upgrades? Well, so yeah, we got three out of five here. What would I need to get to level six? Apparently I already had the village raiding unlocked, which is cool. I just need a bunch of knot roots and granite slabs, which the knot roots I sort of have covered. With this, I could get refined production, ready to rock, detached garage build. Pleasant Park starter furniture. I think a lot of this I will save for another time. Okay, so it made my stuff right there. The silk thread, I just need spider webs, which I have an abundance of. So maybe I will. Let's see, change recipe like this and just make as many as I can. There we go, I can only add a stack at a time, which is sort of silly when you think about it, but there we go, it's working on that. I'll put the rest of them away. All right, we're really grinding all this up now. I will take those. I might actually here, remove all those, change to this. There you go. Now we're being a lot more efficient. That's good. I just need five more granite slabs. While that's happening, the knot rods, I need those. Which 
means that we are just one step away from getting this done. I just need to wait for those five. And we can make multiples of those sooner or later, but just probably not right away. How is our garden plants doing? Okay, so I got some snowberries here, some raspberries. I probably could get rid of this and put a new thing here. There we go. I wanna open plot instead of having that there. What's maybe a type of food here? The slapberry. I put the slapberry. I don't know too much about it. It gives me more stamina. That's what I know for sure. So if we could, probably be a good idea. Okay, collect that wheat. I mean, it still says it's it's pink, but I think that's just because it hasn't grown too much. Okay. We're making good progress then. I put this back in here, and I think that's all that. Okay, that's four, so I just need one more. One more of these slabs, we should be good. Ready, and boom. So we finally made our grain mill. Not the juicer, but the grain mill. Uh, which, I know I'm not really, I've just sort of had these out and about for the time being, but there we go, we got seven recipes for that. Uh, so we can turn things, oh, and the flour, here we go. So yeah, with flour right over here, used for baking fresh food, harvested from wheat grain, that's what I needed. So definitely, let's go ahead and make a treasure chest first, because I'll probably want to put a lot of our vegetables just in this one. So how do I make a, I need more planks, we're starving. All right, well I can solve that really quickly, we can just eat some berries. I didn't mean to throw that, but I'll grab it later. This is luckily a pretty quick way to solve starving, it's just by eating the abundance of berries that we have around here at any given moment of time. Just like this. Oh and hey, Robin. Uh, let your imagination run wild. This village looks great to get a good night's rest. I don't think you can stay here, but we can ask you. Let's see, live in my village. A spot just me could be nice, but your village, yeah, it's too crowded. Okay, is what it is. Even though we are ready for an upgrade, I would rather it wait. Just because we're doing too much at once anyways. So, treasure chest. That's what I was doing. I got very distracted. <laughs> It happens to me a lot in these kind of games. Uh, take five. With those five, we'll make a treasure chest. Oh no, I need six. Of course I did. <laughs> Run back over here. Go like this and just take one more. There we go. Get that there, and that's where I'll put the wheat for now, and the pumpkin, just anything that I can turn into seeds, I suppose. I guess I should've just moved this over, but I'll probably need it for some other stuff later. So that could be turned into seeds, this could be turned into seeds. Very cool, so get that all figured out, boom, boom, boom. Excellent, see, now we're really getting somewhere. So I probably wanna make flour first, because we can use this to cook a lot of stuff, but do I need I need wheat grain, I don't need, that's so weird. I don't need wheat, I need wheat grain. Why would it be that way? Because we use wheat grain to grow wheat. Wouldn't it be the other way around? Or maybe I'm getting it mixed up. What if I go over here? I can turn the wheat grain into wheat as well. Right now, or am I getting that mixed up too? <laughs> I have no clue. What if I try to do this and I made wheat grain Let's see, assign recipe. No, okay, so, interesting. So I can just like put all my wheat into here, it'll make wheat grain, which is weird, because wheat grain can also grow wheat. It's this weird chicken and egg thing going on here. So we can grow that, which will make more of the wheat grain, which we have over here. So I can take all but one, right? Just like that. Interesting, that might take a while. Uh. Let's do that and then go back to making marble slabs. There you go. And then this is all finished up soon enough. Gotcha. I'll go ahead and do this. The granite slabs can go back here for the time being. So much to do, so much to keep up with, but we're going really well with it. I mean, we're making good progress each episode, even if it is just running out and getting materials occasionally. That's such a necessary part of the game. But I'm happy with our progress. You know, I'll turn this into more planks, I think. 
because it seems like we need more. So, there we go. And that's pretty good for now. I think I will remove all those, see what else we can do. Cause like turning snowberry seeds into snowberries or the other way around would be pretty good. But I mostly focus on this cause we have a lot now. So I, I can make a bunch of flour. So if I just did this, we can make a ton of flour. And with that, we can make a ton of bread, which seems to be one of the best food items in the game. Um, just because it restores so much hunger and health at the same time. Cause like I can get this here and we can eat it. And you can see it's like over half my hunger. Takes a moment to eat, but that's fine because we're in the comfort of our own home. We're fine. Very cool. I think it might be worth it then to also expand this. For that, I need soil and fertilizer. So once again, I will take all but one, all but one, just so that I have those spots still left over. Robin, I can't help you too much, but I wanted to talk to Roan. I don't know where she is at the moment, because I haven't given her a job yet, have I? I don't think so. I don't know where she ran off to. Uh, okay, you want to help me out with that, thank you. Oh, there you are. Um, talk to Ryan. So, let's talk jobs. Sure, what have you got for me? Help the village, let's explore. Help the village. Resource jobs or food jobs? Resource jobs. Refined stone. Wait, no, I wasn't really, because we're fighting skeletons? Hold on. Let's talk jobs, help the village, resource jobs. I think we want you to refine stone. There we go, that'd be perfect. Okay, so things are going pretty well there. I can make a couple more of these right here, just so that we can grow even more stuff. Okay, so what do I wanna grow with those is a good question. I think at the current moment, I mean, I already have the, the one Snowberry working for us. If we could just make, I guess some pumpkins. I wouldn't mind making more actually, the snowberries. That's gonna take some time though because that's doing its thing. This is done now so I can put this in that chest over here. 24 of them, 25 in total is pretty huge. Okay, and then are these planks all done? They are all done. So I put those back in there. We have 20 in total. Excellent. All right, so we're getting to the spot where I feel like we're doing pretty well. I think the only other thing I could do here, pepper seeds would be huge right now. So maybe I should take what I have here, remove those. I have a bunch of flour in my inventory, which is great, but the pepper seeds are what I want. So I need to go get spicy peppers, which I have right here. If I do that, I can go over here, make the pepper seed, plant it in a garden of pot to grow peppers, just a little spicy, change to that recipe, fill those up, and then plant those here. I might actually do just one, two, three, so that way we don't have to feel pressure to go back to the desert just to get pepper stuff. That'd be amazing. So you can see, it's quite the operation going on here. It takes some time and some good effort to get where we're going, but eventually, we get there. And I know I'm not the most efficient at this game. I really do try my best, but it's not very good at that kind of thing. I do think I want the, not the snowberry shake. I guess I would need to make like a different kind of shake that exists in the cold temperature. But for that, we need marble slab and not rerod, which we could definitely do. So wait a minute, we can do that right now. If I go here, take, was it five? and then marble slab and planks, right? I'll do that over there. I think it was like five of these. I'll take out 10. Do I have, excuse me, I'm in the middle of revitalizing my community. Okay, yeah, goodbye, I guess it's daytime. I'll take those for sure. Juicer is ready to be made. I wanna put it right there. And with this, we get some new recipes. We get slap juice, slurp juice, and snowberry shake. What does a slurp juice do? Drink to heal over time. Whoa, so for that we need raspberry and slurp mushroom. We have a lot of slurp mushrooms. So if I could once again make another chest next to this one. Not that one, because I don't have the materials. I need more planks. Take four. That should be enough. It is. Very cool. So, 
Now I can take these. These have been taking up space in this inventory for a long time, even though they didn't need to be there. Just didn't know where else to put them. Okay. Uh, and I have the pepper seeds. Now's a great time just to do that. Oh, I didn't realize it was like, hold on, should I, should I do that? Is that better? I don't know. Split like that. Is that better or not? I don't really know. Maybe it'll just affect how much actually grows. Very odd, very, very odd. I'm not really sure the best way to go about that. Hmm. But I can move all of these into there. I was hoping to get some kind of spicy juice. We don't have that right now. Obviously, slap, ju slap juice will heal and temporarily increase your stamina regeneration. That could be nice. And the snowberry shake, we can make more of these now. I do need more milk. I do have milk, but I can get even more. So it looks like I don't think there's any cooking things I need the milk for. So I can at least take that there and put this meat in there too. Perfect. So I guess I didn't really need the second inventory. <laughs> I could always consider moving things around with that later. But look at this. Okay, awesome. Get these berries here so that we can make some juices. So if I want to go back at some point, could make this the slurp juice. Was it this stuff, right? Heal over time. I'll just do one quick deposit. I think that's all I want for now. Just to see how that'll work. There we go. So, I got a slurp juice. Very tasty. There's so much to build, so much to improve upon, but I think that might be where we're basically gonna wrap it up. I could sit here tinkering away and improving things for what feels like forever because there's just so much to do, but some of it I think we'll just save for some other time. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Fortnite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.